obviously the economy is affecting the state of Maryland in terms of jobs, uh, foreclosures. We're actually in better condition than most states because we, are, we came into this whole deal as the wealthiest state in the country and the most educated in terms of post-grad degrees and so forth. So we're well positioned to come out of the slide, but for right now people are hurting and we're trying to figure out how to kind of grapple with that. Well, the budgets of all agencies, state agencies, are always cut, been dramatically cut of late. Uh, what, what happens with the Attorney General's offices, which is interesting, is they'll cut our Consumer Protection Division, which is somewhat myopic because our Consumer Protection Division, our Securities Division, and others are actually bring money into the state. So we're constantly in that battle. Look, please, please let us keep our $70,000 a year lawyer. That person can bring in a million or two million dollars a year to the state of Maryland. Of this conference so far was meet, our meeting with uh, Attorney General Eric Holder, who was the U.S. Attorney here in the District of Columbia he, and my boss, and uh, he's just so accessible to the AGs. That what's important with General Holder's view of the world is that he believes that federal and state government ought to work together to solve problems. So he's been accessible in a very bipartisan way with Republicans and Democrats, uh, and I think him coming to us and make, uh, delivering that message was important. We had an opinion in Maryland regarding recognition of out-of-state gay marriages here in Maryland. So in Maryland, we do not recognize marriage, uh, gay marriage. But if, just like a driver's license, if somebody does get legally married in Iowa, Connecticut, you know, uh, Massachusetts, and then they're in Maryland, we will recognize that marriage for purposes of taxes and all the other things that come along with marriage. It has not been challenged yet. It will be challenged uh, inevitably. We feel that uh, our 45-page opinion is a roadmap for the Court of Appeals to uphold our view of the law.